Hey everyone, Trevor here with Real Time Films. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to mask out a subject using Photoshop for the iPad Pro. I actually recently learned how to do this the other day, um, and I found it to be a lot more user-friendly to do this on the iPad than the computer because you can get a lot more precise using the Apple Pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made my YouTube channel art and walk you through that process now. So. YouTube provides the PSD file on the correct sizes that you would need for YouTube channel art. So that's what I have imported into Photoshop right now. And then uh, basically what I need to do now is just import the photo that I used to cut myself out of. So I'm going to go over here to the bottom left and pick photos, import photos, go to recents, click the photo that I used. And then uh, it'll you know give you the option to resize it here, but we're not going to do that because we don't have to resize anything yet. So I'm gonna hit done, and now the photo is on top of that original file. So the next step from here is to mask myself out of the rest of this image. So in order to do that, I like to zoom in a little bit and go up here to the top left to the masking tool, and it's a little paintbrush up here. Click and hold, and it's the third one to the right, the middle one here, and that's to select a smart object. And this, is, this makes it super, super easy and quick to do. Um, Photoshop's updates are ridiculously powerful. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Apple Pencil and literally just select myself, the subject. And to do that, we can just literally just kind of draw over myself. And you can see as I'm working down the image here, it's done, doing a pretty good job at knowing what to select and what not to select. So. That's a base selection right there. Um, I need to zoom in a little bit and kind of button things up. So in order to do that, I'm using two fingers to pinch in and just kind of select down here because it missed a little bit of my leg. And then moving up on the top left, it missed a little here. It missed my arm a little bit here. So we're just kind of button this up. And you can see how quickly I'm able to do this using the Apple Pencil. And down here, there's a little hole. You can see some greenery in between my arm and I don't want that selected. So in order to deselect something, you would just come up here to the top left, click these boxes down here. The top one is to select something. The bottom one is to deselect something. So I'm gonna deselect this little pocket right there. Did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with that. Go back to the selection tool and continue to move up the image. And you can see it got a little bit too much there. I'm gonna deselect that just a tiny bit. And fix that up there. That did pretty good. Moving up the image, I'll get a little bit there. It missed my eye a little bit. And hair is always the hardest thing, but I still think you can get more with the Apple Pencil than you would just kind of clicking with a mouse. Um, so I'm gonna just draw over the hair and you're not going to be able to get every hair follicle, it's impossible, but you can kind of get it pretty good here for the most part. And then I think we are good. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. So now, now that you're happy with your selection, you can then come down here to the bottom and where it says mask, you literally just click mask and it takes you right out of the image. So. That's how you mask somebody or a subject out of an image. Super quick, super easy. And then uh, I'm just gonna walk you through the rest of the process of how I made my YouTube channel art from here. So if I wanted to resize this, you would come up here to the top left, click resize and drag from the corner to kind of bring you down. And I had myself kind of right in the middle there, hit done. And then I already have PNG files imported, like uh, the Facebook logo, the Instagram logo, my own logo. Um, and these are just straight from Google. You can import these on the iPad. You can take them directly from Google and import them in. So what I'm gonna do now is just unhide those layers. Um, if you're familiar with Photoshop, the layer panel is over here. And then you can just kind of unhide them using these little eyeballs here. Um, and these are just already pre-placed. I put some text down at the bottom left there. Um, and then, this is the spec sheet, so this is what you're seeing here with the, um, the different sizes. Um, but I have a white background imported as well, so I'm just gonna unhide that. That'll bring out the white background. And then um, what I did was just add some text. So then to add text, you come down here at the, top, the bottom left where it says T, and then you click anywhere, type whatever text you want. And then hit done. And then you can see here, actually, if I wanted to put this over, it's actually behind 
uh, my subject. So if you want it to be behind and it, if it wasn't for some reason, the layer, let's say the text was up here and it was in front, in order to do that, if you're typing text, you would just take the top layer where the text is and bring it below your mask. And that's how you get it behind your image there. And then from here, we can kind of resize the text a little bit if we wanted. And that looks pretty good. And then hit done. And then to hide this layer here where it says TV and it gives you the lines in the kind of area where the safe area is, you just hide the spec layer and you're ready for export. And then to export, you would come up here to the top right, quick export, and then you can airdrop it to your computer, you can save it to your iPad, and then you're done. And it's easy as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something, leave a like, comment down below if you wanna see more content like this. I am really loving using Photoshop for the iPad. I have a lot to learn with it. I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner myself, and I just figured I would show you how I was able to create simple YouTube channel art and how to mask stuff out of images because I, again, I think it's a lot more user friendly on the iPad than it is the computer. So again, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.